mailbag time, a bunch of things here. Let's get started. There'll be links down below for most of these things if I can actually give you a link for it. So if there's anything you're interested in, check them out in the description down below. You have to click the show more tab. What are these? Wow, okay. Big cable glands. 30 millimeter cable glands, I think. Doing big mains cables. Cool. I think I've got all the sizes I need now. I've got all the bunch at the same time. Maybe links for those at least. Ooh. What's this? Ah. This is for a little project I'm going to work on. I purchased a few different ones. I'm not quite sure which ones you're going to be using. This is probably the one I'm going to end up using, I think. So it's a module for playing back, well, basically audio files. So it's got like a headphone jack and a speaker jack on here. Also, it came with a little speaker to plug into it. And you, you can program it with an Arduino IDE or something else. Got an SD card as well, so you can also put SD card uh, tracks on it as well. And you can tell it how to work. And basically, it plays back music and you can control it and use it basically like a music player. Anyway, I've got a project for this. You'll see that in the future. Probably about hmm, probably two months' time, based on how many videos are queued up. Alright, next one. Yeah, okay. So this is another one, another playback module, different type. I might have gone overboard like I tend to do sometimes. <laughs> so it's got a button on it, USB micro and a little speaker. Um, it might even have the same bloody chips on it as the other one, it was very similar, just more compact. But uh, yeah, you just program it somehow. How do you program it? Hmm. Good question, actually. Maybe it's just a playback, I don't know. But anyway, another playback module thing, which I will have to figure out what to do with. I'll bought different options, I don't know what I was going to do. I haven't tried using any of these audio playback modules before, so it's an experiment for me to. So if you've got any experience with these audio playback modules or anything like this, please comment down below. We'd like to hear your feedback. Right. Come on, get in. And it's another audio playback module, which looks very similar to this one. Only different, it's got the SD card on the top. Right, another option. It also comes with an SD card. Right, same reason, another project I'm doing. There'll be links for these things down below. Yeah. So obviously buying three different kinds of playback modules is definitely not overkill. Okay. So I've got two of these, which are both the same. They both came in the same bags. I think I know what these are already. For another little project, which I will be doing a video on as well. Creality, 3D printer stuff. So I decided to do some work on my 3D printer. So what this is, is a Z-axis upgrade kit. So on the end of 3, end of 3 Pro, end of 3 V2, I believe it's the same kit for all 3 actually. Um, actually I can tell you, you know, it just says end of 3 here. Um, and you can basically add a second Z-axis um, stepper motor. Which means instead of having just one Z screw, you've got two, which keeps the um, X more horizontal. It will go up more linearly each side. It won't be trying to wobble and twist and stuff as it goes up and down, which can be hard to get to get right. So I bought two kits which are identical. It's got a stick motor with it. And the reason I bought two is because I actually have two into three. So I've got the original into three and the into three V two. 
and there's also a risk that the lead screws could be different. You never quite know what you're going to get. So I thought if I get two, at least then I've definitely got one pair of lead screws. Because if the pitch of these lead screws is different between this kit and what's on the printer, which is possible, it's unlikely, but possible, um, especially if you buy a different kit from the Ender 3 one, that's why I bought the actual branded one, um, the lead screw pitch can be different. And what can happen is then you end up with each side going for different rates. Because if this is, say, this had a pitch of, say, 5% bigger, as you go up, this one would actually end up with the excess tipping like this as it goes up. So, um, what's it? Access. Ax access. Access. I can't, I'm always have trouble saying that word. Access. <laughs> axes? Oh, no, no, no. Axes. Here we go. Right. <laughs> well, the trouble with that. So, it'll wind up with it coming up off access like this and it will come up. So, your lead screws have to be exactly the same. Exactly the same pitch. No difference whatsoever. Otherwise, you won't have problems with that. So that's something to consider if you do one of these upgrades on your own printer. Um, you know, if you do get a different brand, like this is a brandy one for the printer, so it should be the same. But that's why I bought two, just in case there is a difference. Because at least if I get two, I can just put these ones on and it'll be okay. And if I, I've got two original Ender 3 printers, if I need to, I'll just mix and match them and, and sort it out. If I need to, but I expect that these will be exactly the same as what's sort of in a printer. I'll actually show to change that in the Anyway, I'll show you to compare that later on in the actual installation. I did a video on that and the actual upgrades for it. So I'm doing a few upgrades on the printer. You know, some bits there and a mounting bracket here which is needed for it. So yep, yeah, excellent. And obviously the other bag will be exactly the same thing so I don't need to show you that. But yeah, I'm happy with that. That's good. That's uh, exactly what I was wanting. So I'll be doing that soon. I don't know how soon, but soon that should be a trademark, shouldn't it? Soon, TM. Oh, no, maybe it already is. <laughs> so yeah, 3D printing is a bit of a, um, I don't know, addiction, I suppose. Some people get really stuck into it. I only do it really because I need to. So I enjoy it, but it will also be incredibly frustrating. Anyway, so make sure you subscribe if you're into 3D printing or you're interested in learning more about 3D printing, stuff like that. And we have stuff I do, obviously, and check out the videos at the end. Thanks for watching. Bye.